Hi booktube, Lynette here again and this time I'm bringing you an additional TBR for the end of April. Um, in the middle of April the Under the Covers book blog and Peace Love Books announced that for their Romanceopoly that they're doing for 2020 they are hosting readathons as well and the first readathon is happening from the 27th of April to the 3rd of May so it starts the day that this uh, video is going up. They have set seven additional challenges for you to try and link your books up to and also match them with a square um, on the board. So I have uh, rolled the dice as well to get some additional squares because I'd completed the Romanceopoly rolls that I'd already done for April. So here we go. So the seven challenges are number one, Read a book where the cover has the same colours in it as the square that you have rolled for Romanceopoly. Number two is a book that it was recommended to you. Number three is a book that's already on your TBR. Number four is a debut book or author that is new to you. Five is the longest title on your TBR. Six, the book has to have an animal on the cover. And prompt number seven, the book has to be a standalone. You can have one book per challenge, so you would then be knocking off seven squares on the Romance Opoly board, or you can fit as many of the challenges into one book as you possibly can. I've tried to make this as small as possible, so I've actually got four squares that I'm hoping to complete across the seven challenges for Romance Opoly. So the first book on the TBR that I'm hoping to complete is the seasonal square for spring. Um, for this square, you had to pick a book that had green or yellow on the cover or had a word in the title that related to spring. I've picked Heart of Eden by Caroline Fife because it has the required colours in the cover. And I've already uh, set this against the challenges for a book that's already on my TBR because I've had it for a few years now and also for a uh, debut or new to you author. I've never read anything by Caroline Fife before so I'm looking forward to seeing how this turns out and if she's an author that I will like enough to follow in future. So the second role, um, no the first role rather that I did of this um, week I landed on <clears throat> Rainbow Row. Rainbow Row is to read a female female romance. Uh, this is a bit out of my um, usual genre that I'd read so I've actually managed to fit this um, into two uh, of the challenges as well. So the book that I've chosen is Lost in Paradise by Rachel Lacey. Uh, this has some red in the cover so I've used this to match the cover matching the colour square that I've landed on and also it's recommended, uh, covering the challenge, recommended to you and also a standalone because as far as I know it is a standalone novel. So that will knock another square off the board and another three challenges from the Romance of Pleathon. The second roll that uh, I did took me to Emergency Row, I think it is, and I've actually, this was to read a book where the um, main characters are involved in the medical field somehow. Uh, and I have picked Reclaiming the Wolf by Jessie Donovan. Um, this will fulfil animals on the cover as well because it has a wolf on the cover and the main characters in this are involved in some form of medical research so I thought that fit quite nicely. The final role that I did landed on Sleuth Street and Sleuth Street you have to read a book that has a word associated with death in the title. Uh, so that could be death, skeleton, skull, anything like that at all. And I've picked Haunted by the King of Death um, and the, this will all complete the final challenge of longest title on TBR. I've cheated a little bit. This isn't the longest title on my TBR, but it's very close to the longest title on the TBR. Unfortunately, the longest titles on my TBR 
uh, are books that are in the middle of series and I haven't got up to that point in the series yet so this was the next one down where I could actually carry on and read it without actually getting ahead of myself in a series or uh, or it being a standalone so this will be the next one that I read so technically it's only it's only one letter less than the longest title on my TBR so I'm not cheating too much so like I say, so this runs from today when you're watching this, the 27th of April until the 3rd of May. Um, four books, four romance books, I should be able to get through those quite easily. Um, one of those is a continuation of a series. Uh, one of them is a start of a new series by an author that I really enjoy. So that I shouldn't have any issues with getting through these at all. Um, let me know if you're taking part in Romanceopoly um, and Romanceopoly-a-thon. And I will speak to you all again soon. Bye.